Hello, friends, and welcome. You're watching episode number uh, 19, I guess, of our Watford Skellington Railroad Transport Fever Let's Play. My name is Sean, and I hope you're. I hope. I hope you're having fun as you join me as I play some video games this afternoon. That was a nice recovery, huh? Now, I'm glad you're here, and I always appreciate you guys watching. When we left off, it was nearly 1953, and we were mm, doing pretty well. I don't know why this sawmill keeps saying that it's, uh, that it's not getting enough production. I guess we're just getting too much stuff piled up, uh, piled up and not getting shipped out here. But I don't really know that we can run any more trains on this line either. We've got quite a few trains going on this line. Two, four, six, eight, eight trains. That is an awful lot. I don't think there's going to be much purpose in uh, getting more going on there. So uh, I did throw a few more trucks onto this line going back and forth between the steel mill. I few, threw a few more trucks on up here taking the ore and stuff. Uh, basically I want to try to, to get more steel being produced up here. Um, so, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is, jeez, we're really uh, doing well with this food line down here. How is it doing on taking food? So, you know, we're, we're coming pretty close to meeting the demands of food for our two towns over here as well. Yep, this one's coming close to meeting the demand also. Um, we're, we're starting to run out of uh, expansion possibilities. I mean, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's more possibilities. Don't get me wrong. We could probably find some additional possibilities. I think uh, uh, like we could get Bingley going up here, but I don't really want to connect a town without having something being delivered to it. Uh, uh, you know, passengers uh, generally are not so much to make money as they are to drive up the population. So although getting passengers going to Bingley would probably help our other towns grow, I think right now maybe we should focus on getting passengers from Budley over to Craven Arms. Um, so let's uh, let's let's work on that for a little bit here. Let's go ahead and turn on the um, turn on the terrain markings, and boy, we're gonna have a, a heck of a time getting up this hill here. Of course, we have enough money; we could basically just build a tunnel directly directly over here. So I've got this kind of set up to where we'll be able to come down through here, and then if we go. What does this terrain actually look like? So I, I could, you know, if I come along here and then kind of creep up the hill this way, I think we would be all right. And then we would just be able to uh, be able to go straight across there. So you know what? Maybe I will build the build the uh, line along this hill first, and um, we can worry about making any adjustments or whatever after that. I'm going to actually kind of start forcing you down a little. Well, maybe not. All right, let's just go there. And then uh, we can start going downhill here. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. And then let's just keep going down along. Now, you should be going downhill, not running level, though. Um, oh, weird. So why are you not, it's actually trying to go uphill at this stage. All right. So maybe that's not the best approach. Maybe just going straight along this thing would be the best approach. Let's, let's cut our losses here. Let's just build this in a normal manner, starting at the station and working our way back. All right, so, um, I still got this thing set up in a silly way to accommodate two, two train lines, don't I? Uh, but that's okay. It's only using that one, so we'll have this one come out of here. It's funny how much I've learned just by playing this, just by playing uh, this scenario that we've got going on here. I started up a, another game offline on hard mode, and uh, I'm even more successful than I am in this one. And I've also got kind of better, better organization in my stations and everything. I don't have all those uh, double entryways, which you know seem like a great idea, but in in reality they're not they're not really that uh, not really that useful. I don't think. Uh, all right, so I'm going to come around here and I'm going to curve up near that coal mine, and then just kind of take the hill straight on. So 
So I don't need to I don't need to go tearing through the uh, tearing through the landscape like that. And we'll put a nice curve in here. Try to keep it at a high speed. Why not? We'll be able to run high speed trains here before too long. There we go. Although I don't know that we'll ever get like a bullet train or anything like you know on a on a short line like this. There's not a whole lot of point in having a bullet train going through there. I guess we're not really going to be able to do the um, 180 mile an hour curve either. So we'll just stick with a 100 mile an hour curve. There we go. Now I don't. Why does it always want to build that fill in the middle? Why doesn't it follow along the ground as its default? Um, like it, I don't think it affects the speed or anything. Maybe I guess it would affect the like because it's a slight incline somewhere. I don't know. And uh, so we're going to want to kind of cut around that hill there. Whoa, not like that though. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind cutting through the, the land there. And then we'll go like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then uh, pretty much going to be on level ground from there. And we're going to end up going over. We're heading to to there, huh? So we're going to come around this way. All right, I think I got that down. So there we go. Don't I don't need to connect up to the uh, train track there in the middle though. And I'm gonna cut right by this giant hill. Great. Can I uh, raise that up? Ah, even better. All right. And um, there's no train tracks through there, so I can just keep it. Oh, keep it at like 186 through there. I do not like that high. I guess that'll do though. I mean, I kind of have to. And uh, I don't like that being so low, but I can't raise it up because of the road. Yeah. How about if I just go like that then? Nope like that and then I can just go across the road like except if I go in a normal manner very nice that'll do now let's go over here and we'll work our way backwards from over here so over here we're using we're using this line what other cities am I going to so I guess I want to connect to Bingley is why I want to leave that track available I know I was just saying I don't think we're ever going to end up using Bingley but um, just means we probably just won't end up using that third line or third uh, track. That's okay. Third platform. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Now I didn't need to keep that at 186 because I guess it has to slow down to 100 miles an hour when it hits the uh, when it hits the road there. That looks reasonable. Great. All right. Station, and then we'll put a break out there. Now, I leave this kind of gap here to help spread the trains out. I'm still not 100% sure that that's really the right way to go, but that's the method that I've been testing recently. Um, and uh, if you watch me play many series, you should know that I am constantly changing the way I play and trying out new things. And um, I, I just don't play enough, really, I guess, to kind of lock into one way of playing or another. Uh, I always feel like there's um, uh, room for improvement, and I think that's a. Uh, I think that's generally. I mean, even my even in my just everyday life, uh, I try to apply that kind of a uh, kind of approach to things. Uh, always trying to do things better, and find ways to uh, find ways to improve. All right. Um, kind of a long gap there, but you know what? There's only two trains running on that line, so who cares? Uh, we could go through and up. I feel like, didn't we just upgrade all of our bus lines? I feel like we did. I think we were, I think we were a little overdue on doing it, but yeah, these are only four years old. So I'm going to hold off a bit um, before we start upgrading all those bus lines to the new the new one. Finish building this line here. Great thing about connecting existing cities. I don't need to worry about doing all the bus setup and all that nonsense. All I got to do is get the train lines down, and then of course the other good thing about um, about using this single entry point is I don't have to worry about setting all those waypoints and stuff. Which, like I said, the idea seemed really cool, and I think uh, you know, in like a realism way, that's probably the best way to go. 
but you know this isn't reality this is a video game um and uh all the cool realistic stuff that i was doing between you know doing for my uh, like putting in all those crossovers in the middle and and putting in crossover and entry things at the uh entry to the track and all that like that all uh turns out to be kind of unnecessary so get these signals down and the uh f spacing between signals i don't know i'm still not sold on that being um on on like what the correct approach is whether it's to go with just like the length of one train or a long length um in the game that i'm playing offline uh, i really started developing a lot of heavy traffic uh because i had my signals set to like length of like i mean really long uh uh, basically to try to help uh, cut down on the, or to try to help um, direct or space out my trains kind of artificially, you know, um, and that wasn't uh, that wasn't working quite as well as I might have hoped. All right, do we have a? We don't have a depot over here, so let's just go ahead and throw one in on this end here. We can just plop it in right there. there we go train button and depot button and rotate button and there we are train station now we just had that new train introduced um, so we have the M4 which we've been using for 20 years it goes 90 miles an hour this one goes 75 it's not as powerful as the M4 either so I don't think I want to go with that. That one's even slower, so I definitely don't want to go with that. Do I want to keep using these red arrows? You know, I think we're going to go ahead and use this this for our passenger line on this one. And uh, we'll see how it works. So we do that. And these go 75. Oh. So that's why we weren't using those, because the, we don't have a, a car that goes fast enough to justify using that train. And uh, that's also the case with our freight trains, right? Because we don't have a we don't have a goods car that will justify using these uh, more expensive trains. Um, this one, on the other hand, is pretty cheap to run. It's actually cheaper than the other one, so there we go. We'll sell that one. We'll do this then, and then we'll throw four of those on there. Sure, why not? And I, I bet you two trains would probably be enough to start with. We're going to do a new line here. It's going to be, is that Butley, really? Butley to, uh, which one is that? Craven, Butley Craven. W, D, L, E, Y, Craven. And uh, I guess I must have done that to all trains. I didn't really want to do that quite yet. So let's go click down here and, and get a better look at both of our trains. So there's train number one, and then train number two is going to be right there. And we're going to just, we'll actually send you back to the depot. There we go. Save us a little bit on maintenance while we're waiting. No passengers yet, of course, but it won't take very long. There'll probably be some by the time I even get this train into that depot. Oh, look at that thing. And no, uh, no smoke coming out of it either. It's not even a, uh, it's a diesel train, but still there's no smoke coming out, so I like that. And it's fast. Got right up to 72. It's climbing up that hill at 72 miles an hour. And it's making a good, quick approach to the city. Go ahead and set this one, and it's... Uh, Oh, line one, really? I guess I forgot to uh, forgot to hit enter when I put the name in there. There we go. No passengers there either, of course. Oh, still no passengers, huh? That's all right. We'll have some soon. People want to go from Craven Arms to Budley to Budley. I'm sure of it. Wait, now why would you stop at the? That's weird that you would stop at the road there. You're a train for crying out loud. You should have top priority. 
Now, if you were to stop here, that would have made sense. It would have made more sense than that train stopping there. Look at all that coal we've got piled up. Looks like we're really building up a bunch of... Uh, so uh, the increase in the steel production seems to be paying off. But right now I want to see if this, if this uh, new passenger line is going to pay off. Ah, eight, ten. Ten passengers over here too? Cool. Well, we've gotten some passengers lined up. Auto save. I'm going to go. No, you know what? I think I can still leave that on. Two hundred and forty. That's not bad. I wonder. That probably includes the slag that it's producing, which is, you know, not as uh, not as cool. But you know, um, and down here, of course. Oh my gosh, so many, uh, so much stuff piled up there. And these trains are all modern, right? I guess we need to go to that, and then we go to vehicles. I mean, this train's only three years old, so yeah, all these trains have just recently been upgraded, it looks like. So we can't really get any more stuff going through there. And look, we've seemed to have trains going in and out as quickly as, uh, as quickly as possible. I don't know. Looks like I could probably throw another one on here. This is on a dedicated line, right? So it's not like we have... Nope, there's there's the next one coming in. So I don't even think I can throw another train on here if I wanted to. I, I could make these ones longer. Although they're... Uh, they, then they would start having difficulty fitting uh, between the signals. So it's just not really picking up steel so much. Hmm. I think the only way to get better flow through would be to have longer trains. I don't have any objection to having long trains, like, you know, per se. Um, I just uh, would have to that would cause all sorts of problems with my uh, cause all sorts of problems with my signaling and block sections if we were to do that. I don't know, you're picking up uh, you're picking up a good a good um, mix of, of things and, and we don't seem to have any gaps in the in the uh, in the flow of goods. Do I need to have more trucks on this line maybe? I don't know, I don't even know if I can do that. I, c I don't think I could get any to go through there any faster. And it looks like no, because it looks like they're going to clear out the uh, stuff that's there. All right. So I just can't, I just can't do any more with that. But I need more steel if I want to upgrade the production on, uh, on this line here. I don't know how I could get more steel there though. I suppose I could, well, no, I can't even set up like an additional line or anything either to make it go faster. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna have to live with that being as fast as it's gonna get. I could, I could build that $100 million bridge, but even that wouldn't, you know, that would just mean I'd have too many trains on the line. I suppose one thing I could be doing here is going through and, and starting to, uh, starting to fix up all of our passenger lines. Um, so uh, let's 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 try doing that. Let's uh, let's look at our original passenger line here first. We're gonna go to Watford Skellington Railroad. We're gonna go vehicles. We're just gonna actually let's not look at it that way. Let's look at it this way. Narrow that down. Actually, let's narrow it down even further. There we go. Great. All right, Watford Skellington. Let's. Uh, send all the lines to the depot and uh, really do I not have I, I knew that was going to be a potential concern eventually looks like those are all set up so I must have another depot over here that's not set up properly hmm well something's not right Uh, it must have just been a, a I don't know if, if a mistake is the right way to put it. Yeah, 
Waiting for free path. Okay, sure. Why are you waiting for free path, though? You have a free path to the depot. Right? I mean, everything is electrified here. You're all electrified. So what's your deal with waiting for the free path? No path. Give me a break. I don't understand. All right, let's uh, let's just incoming vehicles. Yeah. All right. Will that fix it? No. Well, I got that one go. No, I didn't quite get that one going. All right. Well, we've got enough money. We can just throw another depot on here, or or however many depots it takes. To be honest. All right. I'll go that. There, catenary. Um, let's make sure it's nice, plenty of space between signals. There we go, like that. And then like that. Will you match up? Thank you. And can I get you to match up? And then how about one last one over here? work for me. Come on. Uh, that wasn't right anyways. That's right. There we go. Great. All right. And then we will put a new train depot right there. Now let's see if you guys can do it. You cannot. Well, for crying out loud. What's your problem? This is frustrating. All right, so this is Watford Skellington, right? All right, now let's go to line. Watford Skellington, passenger. Go to depot and sell on arrival. Okay, now you're gonna do it, right? Maybe not. Why are you guys not going there? Waiting for free path, but for for what? How are you waiting for a free path? I don't understand. Do I have to delete you? Vehicle in the way. Give me a break. There's nobody in here. All right, Watford Skellington. And go to the line. Watford Skellington. There we go. Now, what's your story? Watford Skellington. And then go to the depot and sell. All right, that looks like that's going to take care of all of them. Um, or most all of them, anyways. Vehicle in the way, but there's no vehicle in the way. You liar. But you know what? I will reconnect the rail there. Because we'll want to have it later on, I would say. Hey, I like those <laughs> those axles just rolling along the ground all by themselves. All right. Let's, how about that mystery train there? All right, let's put you back on the line. And then let's go back to the line. And we're going to send you to the thing to sell. And you're still waiting for a free path, but I think that's just because of those trains over there. Right? Or not? All right. Let's try to be a little more sensible about the whole thing. There we go. Now, now let's do it. Dollar sign. And that should send you right to the station. You, on the other hand, what the what? What are you doing? Oh, you're Halifax. Well, how did you end up over on this line? All right. Great. Okay, so all of you are in the stations now. We're going to buy a train. And it's going to be that one. And uh, we still can't go faster than 75 with the passengers, right? So we'll put one of those on there. We'll put five of those. We're going to duplicate it. Oh, holy mackerel, that was a half hour already? 
That was really fast. All right, let's get these trains synced up, and then we will uh, we will call it good for the uh, call it good for the episode. Um, this one, Watford Skellington, turn on your speed. There we go. Now you're on the correct path. Thank you. Pick up those passengers. You should you should gather a whole bunch of them. Wow, you can carry a hundred passengers. That's great. Good. We need that. So I think between episodes, I will go through and, and uh, replace all these other trains. Uh, so, you know, a couple of years might pass by by the time we come back. Um, but uh, if anything, like, important comes up, I'll, you know, I'll just bring the game back on. But otherwise, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and, and balance out, um, you know, replace replace all these little trains and then sync up. Uh, all the trains like we're doing right now and uh, hopefully uh, everything will be cool by the time we get back um, so uh, I hope you've appreciated uh, watching this episode and I uh, hope you're having a good time uh, I definitely am having fun playing this despite my uh, little minor complaints that I was having uh, in between episodes or you know what I mean while I was getting these things synced up and stuff and uh, I hope you will come back for the next episode and if you do I will see you then bye <laughs>